Hi brothers and sisters, I feel in my heart that I should uh, re-record this video um, and um, it's about Revelation 9-11. I call it like that because I don't like to mention the name of, um, of the demon that I saw in this dream. But um, today I was uh, re-recording a video about um, a rapture dream that I had and about the devil to be demons about to be unleashed on the earth and this is like a a second dream about it you know it's kind of like Jesus giving me a confirmation about what I've been dreaming or what I've been feeling in the last um, the last year but anyway um, this is what I'm going to start and you know what I, before I continue I want to pray I want to pray for you and I want to pray for me that the word of the Lord will uh, flourish in your heart and that you will give fruit for his kingdom. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you knowing that all my sins are being forgiven by the shed blood of Christ. I repent for every thought, every deed, everything that I have done against you, my brother. And I thank you for your mercy and your peace. I pray for my brother and sister who is watching this video, and I pray that your word will give, um, will produce fruit on the life or heard or him. In the name of Christ, I pray. Amen. Please cover us and protect us with your Holy Spirit. And do not let the evil come near us. Deliver us from evil, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay, so this is what the dream, this is the dream that I had. And it was really disturbing. Um, well, I was in something, in a place that looked like my house. And I remember I was putting these huge locks in in um outside my house because I did not want the tigers and the lions to get in my house and I remember I was putting these locks in 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 and um I guess in not in many countries we we you guys have what we have here in Costa Rica it's like gates and we lock them with huge locks you know so we prevent uh, robbers from coming to our houses but anyway I was doing that because I knew that there were tigers and lions wanted to come into my house and then when I came inside my house I saw a group of people that I never seen before and I knew they were not believers they did not believe in our Lord Jesus Christ but they were terribly afflicted and they were looking for answers of what was happening to them. Okay, the place that looked like my house, it was filled, it was full of demons of all kinds, big, small, great, powerful, not as powerful, but they were filled with these demons. And only, I was only able to see them nobody else in the room was able to see all these demons okay and then I looked to my kitchen I looked to my kitchen and I saw something that looked like human his face and his hair he had like blonde hair and he has like a human face but his body was like an animal and he saw me and when he saw me and my heart I heard Apollyon which I didn't remember at the time but you know I heard this name Apollyon in that moment he jumped from my kitchen to the backyard and from the backyard he jumped to over the fence to the other houses and he disappeared and he was gone and then um, in my house you know like then I went back to look what it looked like my house and I saw this woman and she was preparing witchcraft 
for the group of people that was with me. And she was preparing this beverage and this witchcraft to help them heal. You know, like they thought this woman was actually about to help them with their needs. So I looked at this woman and I rebuked her. And I grabbed all these leaves that she had, these weird things, you know, and I threw them out of my house and I burned them and I put them out of my house and I was so I was so angry and then I came back to what he seemed to be my house and she disappeared she was gone and um, everybody gathered together in a room and I looked through the windows and there was this uh, brave dogs like Rottweiler but you know like not a nice Rottweiler like a really mean one he and they were looking at us so I covered the windows you know I closed everything in the room I closed the door in the room and um, in the room I'm <laughs> sorry just my daughter is screamed and um, in the room there were many demons, you know, like many, 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 many. And I was the only one that could see them. And um, and then suddenly we heard all, everybody that he was in the room heard this voice. And this voice was blaspheming against the, the name of the Lord. He was saying all kinds of nasty things that, thanks goodness, he was raised from my memory. And as soon as everybody heard this voice, everybody started screaming and yelling because they knew they were worshiping the devil. And um, and after that, I um, they were panicking and they were screaming. And I told everybody in the room, praise the Lord, just praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And everybody, and I started to sing to the Lord and I started to praise his name and glorifying the name of Jesus. And then suddenly the entire atmosphere in the room changed and all the demons were gone. And I want, that was the dream that I had. But I want to tell you a few things that I learned from this dream. One, Everybody that was there, they were non-believers. They were afflicted by physical, emotional, and spiritual diseases. They were physically ill. Some of them were physically ill with strange diseases. The others were depressed or with suicidal thoughts and all kinds of weird things. You know, like, like oppressed by demons. And the other ones were literally having billions, like, not billions, but, you know, like, many, like, like um, thousands of, 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 of demons, you know, hitting them and, and, and pushing them and, and talking to them. But they were not able to see them. I was the only one that had the ability to see them. And they were looking for answer to be cured. But they never look towards Jesus. Sorry about that. And um, the people were looking for a way to be healed. So they looked into witchcraft and all kinds of uh, what we call here santeria. You know, like, um, you know, like yoga and all kinds of things to be healed. And they were actually getting worse. And they did not realize they were worshiping the devil. That's why when they heard the voice of the devil, they were panicked because that until that moment, they realized they were worshiping the wrong God, you know. And the other one is that I saw this, this and I, I'm going to find my Bible right now because I want you to read Revelations 9-11 or I will write it down on the bottom of this video. And it talks about this demon that is going to be unleashed on the earth to attack the the people that is not um, marked with the Holy Spirit. You know, as the devil has his mark, the Holy Spirit. Actually, first the Holy Spirit marked us with 
the mark we have is the Holy Spirit of Jesus. And that's why, you know, the copycat devil has the mark of the beast. So Apollyon was here, which means the destruction I looked over when I woke up. Uh, he was he was about to destroy it or he was giving authority over the people that was not marked with the Holy Spirit. So what I want you to do, and this is something that God put in my heart really heavily, is to pray for those who are lost. Pray for those who do not know Jesus because they don't know. You know, once I was there, before I met Jesus, I was there. I was in the darkness and I was in these horrible places and I was... Um, influenced by all kinds of evil spirits you know like exactly what i saw in my dream now i'm saved i have jesus i have i'm empowered by the holy spirit and i'm a newborn child and my job and you as well it's to pray for those who doesn't have him and if you're being afflicted by suicidal thoughts if you're being afflicted by you're too fat, you're too skinny, you're this, you know, don't think that that comes from you. That comes from 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 the evil spirits. And um, many people are just so blind that they don't know what they have against them. And unless we have, you know, and I want to take you to the last part of the dream. I was not able to do it on my own. I, it was so heavily, it was so dark where I was. It was so filled with evil that I had to ask everybody to praise the Lord with me because He is the only one. Jesus is the only one that can save you. There's nothing, you know. And what we need to do is just praise Him, praise His name, be grateful what He has for what He has done for saving us because he's our defense he's our um he is almighty he's our lawyer he is always there defending us he gave his life to protect us you know he sees us like he sees us like little children like people that needs to be rescued because we need to be rescued so please pray for me please pray with me you know asking God for his love and mercy upon us, upon everybody, you know, especially for those who do not know him. And if you don't know Jesus, you know, there's no better time for salvation than today. Please receive him in, his, in your heart. And, you know, I'm going to pray a quick prayer for you. Jesus, in, in your name I come before you asking you, Jesus, to please release and protect my brother from every attack of the enemy. Like your word said in Psalm 91, if I dwell under your wings, if I make you my shepherd, you know, nothing bad is going to come over me or my brother. I pray that your shadow, that your protected uh, love is on over my sister and my brother. And every attack of the enemy, the spiritual, physically, and emotionally, that is being on his life, for her life, is cut right now. And, he, and all these evil spirits are sent back to the bottom of the earth. I pray in the name of Jesus for the releasing and the deliverance of my brother and sister in your name jesus i pray amen jesus bless you bye bye